Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, we will take a look at the iOS 7 Gold Master Edition, uh, which was released to developers just recently. And uh, this is the final release after the iOS 7 Beta 6. So this is the same release that is going to be seeded to consumers in a couple weeks. Okay, so if we, um, what I want to do in this video is I want to take a look at all the newest editions that came out on the Gold Master Edition. So the first thing is, if you go to settings, and if you go to um, wallpapers, they have in fact added more wallpapers. So if you go to wallpapers, you get the option to choose dynamic and stills, and dynamic wallpaper is the same thing as the live wallpapers. They move about, but as you can see, in the beginning we only had two colors, now we've got seven colors. And it looks like these seven colors were created to match the, the tone of the iPhone 5C versions. So if you go back, if you go to stills, they have added a lot of still wallpapers and they look really nice. Okay, so that's the one thing that they that I noticed so far. Uh, number two, if you go to sounds, they have added different ringtones for you guys to choose from. So there you go, let's look at a couple of these. Okay, so all the consumers will be getting these wallpapers and these ringtones. So, and the other thing that I noticed was the overall improvement in fluidity and smoothness of the um, of the operating system. Now, the iOS 7 Beta 6 was pretty good, but I can still sense a little more smoothness in this final version. Okay. Yeah, and here you can take a look at the lock screen, and as you can see, lock screen, you just slide to unlock, and then you do have the notification center on the top, and you can swipe through different modes. So you can see your missed calls here. You can see all your app updates and notifications that you got from your apps right here, and then you, can, you get what's going on today is in the Today's tab. And if you get rid of this, you also have your control center. And again, you can access your quick apps, you can access the camera, calculator, uh, the compass, the flashlight. If you tap this, the flashlight opens up. And then you've got the music, you've got the brightness up and down. And then you have a bunch of quick toggles here that you can use. So you can turn Bluetooth on or off, Wi-Fi on or off, night mode, I mean, do not disturb mode, and uh, stuff like that. So it's all the same as before. Okay, and then let's take a look at a couple things since we're here. Uh, if you launch the camera app, where's the camera app? Um, here's the camera app. So what you can do is you can swipe between different modes. So video, you got the photo, you got the Instagram-like square shot, and then you got the panoramic shot. Okay, and you can do the same. You can switch between the different modes here as well. Okay. And then you can, as you're taking a picture, you can apply filters live. And you can preview what the image is going to look like. So let's uh, do a live preview of the fade. So that's what it's going to look like. So you can take the picture if you, don't, if you like it. If you don't, you can test the other options. And then you take the picture. Okay. And then that's the camera app. And honestly, everything else is the same. I do have a video on the iOS 7 Beta 6, which I'm going to put in the uh, description below. You can go watch that video for all the other features. But, I mean, let's go to the, the weather app. So that's the weather app right there. And you can swipe between different um, options. And if you tap this, you get the full list. And then you can get out of here. And then you've got the calendar application. Okay, so let's go to the full view. That's the yearly view. And you can scroll through years like it was nothing. And if you want to go into a month, you just tap tap one of these guys. And um, if you go to music, same thing again. You've got your different tabs at the bottom here. Go by the albums. Go by the artists. Okay, and a couple of songs here just to preview. And if you play a song, that's what it looks like. Okay, so go back. And everything else will be the same as the iOS 6, I'm sorry, iOS 7 Beta 6. 
So I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to see the other features. You can go watch that other video. But as far as updates go, this is what you get. You get new wallpapers, you get new sounds, and you get overall system uh, improvements like fluidity and smoothness of the overall experience. Again, this is the same release that is going to be seated to the consumers in a couple weeks. Okay, well, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the comments section, and uh, I'll see you the next time.